Happy Friday, August 13th. Some will call it Friday the 13th, but <laughs> every day is a day of blessing. Every day is a day of thanksgiving, and we are so happy to see and to experience another opportunity in the year 2021. How are you feeling today? Are you feeling like, oh my goodness, I'm not enough, or I feel maybe insecure, or remember in, I don't know, primary, elementary grade in math, when we were introduced to those signs, some would call the symbols, the crocodile, eating what's greater than, right? And whatever the crocodile mouth is eating, that number is greater than the smaller number, right? So six is greater than two, or five is greater than four. Well, that other sign is the less than sign. And sometimes we could wake up or we could just feel less than, right? The enemy will want to whisper in our ear, oh, you're not good enough. You're not strong enough. You're not smart enough. You're not rich enough. You're not pretty enough. You don't have this. You don't have that, like Sally Sue and Bobby Joe. <laughs> and we know in the world of social media, if we spend time, even in any type of media, you start weighing your life and comparing your life. And then you're like, hmm, maybe I'm not all that in a bag of chips. But I'm here to remind you today, Psalms 3, 3, the Lord says that he is our Lord. He is our completion. He is our shield. He is our protection from those negative messages. Mm-hmm. And he is the lifter of our head. So we could go on today in the completion of the Lord. He makes our strength and our value and our makeup equal to the task. So he's our sufficiency. So you got the greater than sign. Hey, greater is he that is within me and you than that which is in the world. When we're feeling less than, mm -mm. he's the one, he's the lifter of our heads. He is our sustainer. He is our wholeness and our wellness. And he will make us equipped for today, no matter what is in our path that we might find ourselves on or in or along. Bless the Lord, oh my soul. And all that is within me, bless his holy name. And we know the benefits. There's so many. We can't forget them. He has forgive, he, he forgave and he forgives our iniquities. And he heals all of our diseases. We are strong. We are blessed. We are disease free. We are injury free. And if we might have an ailment, we know that we're already healed by his stripes. So wait for the manifestation. He redeemeth, he saveth, he rescues our life from destruction. He puts up barriers, shields, right? So that we don't have to experience heartache. Mm -hmm. Who crowneth thee with loving kindness and tender mercies. He satisfies our mouth, our soul, our heart with good things. And he renews our youth as the eagle. Yes, he does. Ah, so there is nothing for us to dread today, even though it's Friday the 13th. Know that the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting to everlasting. Upon them that respect, that keep him in all, that fear him and his righteousness unto the children's children, your grandchildren, and your great and your descendants. Well, people that you have not met know that the Lord is good and he is worthy to be praised uh, another scripture that spoke to me that we would have read Psalm 73 25 he is 
our total delight and desire. Whom have I in heaven but thee? But God, yes, there is none upon earth, no man, no woman, no one. He is the one, he's our portion. And he's the one that we desire. Our focus is on him, our flesh. <laughs> My flesh, our flesh, and our hearts might fail. But God is the strength of my life and your life. And he's the strength of our heart and your heart forever. And our inheritance, our portion forever. It is good for us, for me, for you, to draw near to God. We have put our trust in the Lord God that we may declare all his works this very day. He shall guide us with counsel and he will receive us to glory so this is the reason why we shout why we enjoy and as a verb we joy in the Lord our strength thank you father that you are with us always oh God that we can experience the benefits of living for you oh God that you refresh you strengthen our heart you are our portion our inheritance we don't have to worry about our families and our friends oh God father you are the one who sustains us day by day evening by evening when we go to sleep we wake up to brand new mercies great is your faithfulness oh god so we just declare that we will stay in the secret place of the most high that you are our shield our glory and a lifter of our head and you are our confidence and our sufficiency and we'll stay in your presence thank you for everything that you're going to do today in the name of Jesus, we look with expectation. Amen.